Hey guys, Jason Homer with Bass Utopia. Uh, one thing that I hear a lot from people is uh, when they're when I'm getting questions and stuff from from viewers and, and users of the website is, uh, hey, I went to this spot in the summer. I go to this spot in the fall and I catch fish all the time, uh, but in the summer they just stop biting. Well, the truth is the fish don't stop eating in the summer. The reality is is that they they move, and uh, a lot of times you know when, when we're dealing with a hot summer like we are this year, in Minnesota it's been like 95 degrees every day and sticky humidity. Uh, I saw boat landing temperatures at 91 degrees in the water. We're not used to that stuff here in Minnesota. And so a lot of times what, what you need to do is you kind of need to adjust your thinking in terms of what would you do. So, you know, think, try to think like the fish. So, um, you know, for example, if it's 95 degrees out and 70% humidity, are you gonna, do you want to stand outside and work in the garden or, or mow the lawn? Or do you want to go inside where it's comfortable, have a nice lemonade, sit in the air conditioning and, and uh, enjoy yourself? And that's kind of the same, same thought process that a bass. Now there's always going to be uh, some fish shallow, um, just like there's always going to be some guy running a marathon in 95 degree heat. But the reality is, is most of them are going to try to find cooler, more comfortable water. And most lakes that's going to be deeper water. So what we're going to try out here this morning with the water temperatures as high as they are, is we're going to go out, we're going to find some deep structure, we're gonna uh, throw a couple different types of baits around out there and see what they wanna uh, bite. And then once we get something figured out, we'll kinda dial it in and, and talk a little bit more about what they're doing, uh, why it's working, and, and the approach you can take with those sorts of tactics. So uh, let's go after them and see what we can do. Just right, look at that, right in the top of the, fell right out. So there we go, that's a nice, I mean that's you know three and a half, three and three quarter, pushing somewhere in there. But that fish is just, these fish are just sitting right on the outside of that weed line. What I'm trying to do is just as slowly as I can stand, dragging that jig along those rocks, just bump, 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 bump. I want to feel those rocks and then, you know, shortly after, a lot of times I'm just getting into that edge of the weeds. It's popping out, I'm feeling the rocks, just bump, bump, bump along. And then these fish are hitting right on that, right on that edge. But a good, you know, a good fish, not a huge one, but a good one. So I'll put him back and see if we can find some more. Another thing that I would I would tell you when when you're fishing this sort of deal, out on the rocks, out in the deeper water, is the fish tend to school up a lot more than they do in other structures. So when you get a fish, if you're in a tournament and you get a fish on deep water like that, get the fish in the boat and get your partner right out on that exact spot. Get the bait out there as fast as you can because once that school gets active, I mean, you can put, you can load the boat up really fast on something like that. And so it's, it's really important to just stay on top of the structure. There's another one. Oh, professional release. Yeah, so it's not so big. If you can see, we're kind of hit a little school here. You know, you'll find that uh, if you get one good fish, a three and a half, four pounder, there might be four, five, six of those sitting in one little area and you might get those on back to back to back to back casts. And that's kind of, that's when you hear about people loading their boat in tournaments. Oh, oh missed them, shoot. When you hear about people loading their boats in tournaments, so a lot of times that's what's happening. I'm in the weeds, I think is they're, they're getting on a school of fish like that. And a lot of times, you know, you find that one school in a tournament, whether it's a club tournament, a big tournament, uh, you know, big money tournament or whatever, um, you know, you find that school of fish and that can make your tournament in 15 minutes. You might spend 15 minutes catching your entire limit you weigh in and the rest of the day just trying to upgrade. And that's an absolutely ideal way to start your tournament. 